Hello YouTube, this video will be the start of a series of videos for the basics of robots. Now I have already done a video on uh, farming robots in particular, so there will be a link for that down, the, down in the description. But in this, this video will be, um, it will be showing the basics of getting started with robots, and this will include uh, everything you'll need to make your robots, and then a basic demo of, say, the picker robot. Then, and that'll be it. This will also be assuming that players watching this video will already have an understanding of how other things in Buildcraft, such as the lasers and, and the integration table work. Or the assembly table, not the integration, but the assembly table. Right, so to get started, we'll need various tables that go with our lasers. And that will include the charging table, programming table, assembly table, and integration table. Uh, we will look at the stamping table later. So to make the... take four. Alright, to get started we'll need four basic tables at first and that will be the integration table, assembly table, programming table, and charging table. And these will be used with in conjunction with the lasers. We'll look at the stamping table later. The programming table will be used to actual to, to make our programs that will uh, integrate with the robots and make the robot does some, do something. The charging table will char charge the robots. Assembly table will we will use that to make a particular piece we need for the robot, the redstone crystal, and and the integration table, which will actually take the program and integrate it with the robot. So so our first table we it will make is the integration table. For a six obsidian, a diamond gear, redstone chipset, and a gold ingots. The programming table is all that, but instead of a gold ingot, it's an emerald. Uh, yeah, just an emerald. And all these tables will follow a similar pattern. This one, the stamping table, which we will look at later, has a gold gear in that crafting table. And the charging table. It's so a gold gear and a redstone and redstone. And yes. And everybody should know how to make the the assembly table. And then the first thing we'll need is a redstone board. And that is made with eight pieces of paper and a redstone. So let's take that out of there. And then we'll take it over to our lasers and we're gonna put it in the programming table. And then this is a different. This is a bit different from the previous tutorial and older versions of Buildcraft. Um, and this and an older version of Buildcraft, you'd put the redstone board into the assembly table, and you get a random, you get a random board out, and yet it was more or less just chance that you got what you want. In this case, with the programming table. We have we can choose exactly what we want. In this case, we want the picker. All right. Now that we have our redstone board, we can use it to make our rope out with. Now, like, like I said in the previous in older versions of Buildcraft, it was at random, which I felt was a placeholder, and I'm glad I was right because that would have been a pain to have to and to have to make several boards just to find the one you're looking for. So, next step will be to make our robot. That is with two diamond chip sets, our redstone crystal, and five iron ingots to make the redstone crystal. You'll need to put a block of redstone to the assembly table. 
and you'll get a redstone crystal out of it. So we come back here, take our robots, and then we'll take our robot and our programming board, or program to board, to the integration table, where, where we will put our robot in the center of it, and our redstone board on top of it, and it will start making our robot. So now we have a robot. Now, the robots, they start off without a charge, so you can either use the charging table to charge them, and we'll use lasers to charge them, or we can place them on a dock, which for a dock, we will need three iron and golden chipset. We'll have a dock. And before we make this picker, or before we place on our picker robot, we will want to make sure it only goes where we ask it to go. In that case, we will need a zone planner, which was made with the, uh, let's show it, four iron ingots, diamond gear, two gold gears, redstone, and a empty map. And then we will need a map location, which is eight paper, and then a yellow die. As long as it's like some sort of yellow, whatever, like die or uh, dandelion yellow, it'll work. And so we'll go ahead and let's just say, let's go ahead and place our zone planner right there, and then we'll click on it, and we'll need to grab our our map location. And so we'll click on the zone planner and you'll see all this green space. You can use the mouse wheel, you can scroll down to go zoom in and scroll up to zoom out. And wherever you wherever you, wherever you right uh, Yeah, so wherever, wherever you right click it'll center the map on, on that. Like you see, right here is our row of uh, crafting stations. Right here would be our zone planner. You can kind of see on the map there. And so, right clicking will move you around. And then we will want to. You can choose different colors to help color code your your zoning. But that doesn't. But well, the robots don't care about the colors. So let's we'll go ahead and pick blue. And let's go ahead and create a zone. You can do this by left clicking, and we just drag that out. And then, as you just saw earlier, you can do this to add or remove. And so we can remove the zone like that. And then there's a full screen version of the zone planner. And so we'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll do farm, since it's over our farm that we, that we made earlier. And then we'll go ahead and place our map location in there. And I believe we can place a map in here and load up whatever location we have. So that way you don't have to worry about say you want to make another copy of the of the map of the the map location. You can go here, place one in here, place a new one up here, and you got it. So next thing we'll need, a chest, an emerald gate, some pipes, our docking station, and a wrench, a wrench will be handy, some other stuff. So we'll go ahead and plop down our uh, kinesis pipe, and we'll put a dock on top of it. Except this is the other way we can charge our robot, is by putting it on top of the dock. And so we can place down an emerald gate. And make sure you place it on the dock before the emerald gate so that way the so that way the gate knows it knows how to uh, what to show. So in this case we have a redstone signal on, then we'll want it to work in what's called work in area. And what work in area will do is 
as long as you give it something like if you give it a, a map location it'll tell a robot that you put onto the stocking station to work within this area that you defined and then we'll want the condition for when it's not work, working make sure the state goes in so we'll want to we'll want it to go back to its station and so and and like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll tell it to go to station when it's when there's no signal at all. And so we'll go place our robot on there. Alright, now they've got our robot on there. And flip it. And, it'll, and then once it can find work, it'll get going. Which ours won't because we defined a zone. Nope, oh, it. Okay, yeah, so, so sorry. Arn, yeah. So I go and start working, and it will place it in one of these chests over here. And I'll keep doing that until it either until there's no more items to pick up or it runs out of power. And to set up a basic system, we will basic system like to pick up objects and place them in chests. We want to have a chest and some form of pipe. A wooden pipe allows us to be able to extract stuff from the chest with our robots, which makes sense, because in build, regular build craft, that is how you would get stuff out of chests anyway. And then we can use a cobblestone pipe to insert stuff into the chest from the robots. And let's actually... So we just said that if we want, if we want to place stuff in our chest, we look for space and inventory, and accept, have to tell it to accept items. And then we can tell it specifically what to accept, or we can leave a blank for anything. And similar, similarly, item, if there's items in inventory, and we can specify what item, then we can tell the chest to, to we can tell it that this gate or this docking station provides these items from the chest. And then we'll go into more as we delve, as we dive into other robots. And so with that, you should now know the basics of getting started with your Billcraft robots. All right. And we plan on making, making this series with multiple videos about different robots. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Goodbye.